The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Brian and Kenzie on Q101. And finally, finally, what a night last night. Let's relive it. Inside the 30-yard line, D.J. Moore. Four-man rush again. Fields to the end zone. Moore. Touchdown. Fields to the end zone. Reaching up. Does he make the catch again? D.J. Moore. Howell throws. This is going to be picked off. Greg Stroman intercepting it on the pass right over the middle. Fields again. Over the middle. Caught. Connect. Touchdown. Howell fires. That's caught. It's going to be a first down here. Catch is made. Thomas. Tough ball comes out. Chicago thinks they have it. Pass is pulled in by Moore. Gets free. Washington gambles and lose the gamble that time. 56 yards touchdown. Moore able to make the catch and then free to the end zone. What a night for Fields. What a night for Moore. What a night for Matt Eberflus. What a night for Matt Eberflus. Thank you, Al Michaels. What a night for Chicago, even though it was in D.C., just hours after it was announced that, tragically, Chicago icon, legendary Hall of Famer, best bear ever, toughest guy in the NFL ever, Dick Buck has passed away at the age of 80. We heard from that Michelle. That's a mouthful. Well, uh, that's a lot. I tried to add a lot of titles to it, but Michelle Butkus, his great niece, uh, called up just in the last uh, 45 minutes. If you want to go back to the podcast and listen to that, uh, that'll be at q101.com and then where your podcasts. A really cool conversation, some inside stuff she told us about her, uh, what's it, grand, uh, grandfather's brother. That would be Dick Buckus was her grandfather's brother, right? Yes. Right on. She's the great niece, so Dick Buckus was her great uncle. Correct. All right. So the game, though, 40-20. How about DJ Moore? I'm back in. I think I'm back in on Justin Fields. I think I'm back in. I will not be a week and a half from now, or I should say a week and a couple days, Vikings, Bears, at Soldier Field. I will not be out front saying don't go in. Now, we go. We do the opposite now. They want a game. We all go in. I need in. I need tickets. You're easy. I, I need to say, I, I flip. I, I, I'm You're emotional. Easy flip. I'm emotional. I'm a flip flopper uh, at this point. Anyway, I, I'm all, all I, I'm so confused. I'm all back in after all these weeks of you despair and heartbreak. You to manipulate. I got to be honest. Oh, I am. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just based on this alone, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah I, I could break you pretty easily. Yeah. Oh, wow. You won't even start waterboarding me to change my opinion. No, no. Be... Just, uh, just my, the tone in my voice can make you crumble. Yeah, I'll tell you where all the tanks are and everything if I'm trapped <laughs> in there. That's why I'm not in the army. There's no way. I'm not. I, I, I'm a low pain, to- pain tolerance. You know. You seem like a guy that wouldn't exactly be in the front of the battlefield. More yeah. like, ah, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah. Ah, you got him. Yeah. I'll make. He would a... rhyme like guns back and forth to people. <laughs> yeah. He like supply. <laughs> That's even too much. That's yeah. even too close to getting. I because be... then Brian doesn't have a gun. He's just delivering them, and it's it's a different mindset. I'm making all their beds while he they're would, out yes. of battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would put on the other people's uniforms that you make. You know what? <laughs> I think you guys are right. I said it the whole time. Yeah. Uh... Now we got clear where I stand. That's gonna know you're a traitor to this great country. Not a traitor. Just I know my I know my role, and I'll shut my mouth. It's damn straight. <laughs> So, uh, this snaps the 14-game losing streak. 347 days since I produced one of those award-winning montages. Maybe though another one will come October 16th when we did a week from Monday when they beat the Vikings. We'll see what happens. DJ Moore was insane. No Bears receiver has ever done what he did in the last 50 years. 200, year, uh, 200 yards, three touchdowns in the Super Bowl era. That hasn't happened from a Bears receiver. receiver. And Justin Fields threw 282 and ran for 57. He has 617 yards and eight touchdowns in the past two games. That's a lot of numbers. The the short of it is, hey, he's playing the way we always hoped he would. That'll play pretty good. Yeah. Pretty, pretty. So that's some good stuff right there. Yeah, I pretty, like it. Oh, pretty good. Personally, I'm a fan. FedEx player of the week? Maybe. <laughs> I think crossed. so. Everybody do their votes, whoever gets allowed to vote on that. Hey, every, the general public. I think even felons can vote on the FedEx player of the week. Are you serious? We've, we've made progress sure in our country. I'm sure you're allowed to vote more than one. I mean, hey, you're allowed to vote more than once for the president. Ah! You know what I mean? Ah! Pick those ballots. It's Chicago where dead people vote, you know? Oh, God. Um, yeah. So what a, what a feeling. What a feeling after last night. I'm really, I, I need like, I need like a hamburger right now. I need like a bacon cheeseburger or something delicious. Oh, well, I've been go, up all night since the game. You just need to clog your arteries because of the Bears one? Yep. That's all I want to do. By the way, Brian's when they so lose, hyper. He needs a cool down. Yeah. When they lose, he goes, oh, I need some food to make me feel better. <laughs> there's always a reason he needs a double cheeseburger with bacon. Yeah, there's no other, other escape. There's never a time you don't need one. It's always like you justify. It's just, it's an interesting. So the Bears won. I need some broccoli. You'll no. never hear me say that. No. 
Uh, sadly, Dick Butkus passed away right before the game. It was announced incredible tribute in FedEx uh, Field there in D.C. And, of course, all over America. Not only the greatest Chicago icon and a hilarious guy besides being the toughest guy in history of the NFL and Hall of Famer uh, from Chicago, played for the Illini. And not only that, but when you hear younger players and new players today reference somebody that hasn't played in a long time, you got to look at them in that old footage you know it resonates still today in high school practices and peewee football, Dick Butkus. And here was him talking about how he played football. I want to just let them know that they've been hit. And when they get up, they don't have to look and see who was, uh, that hit them. It shouldn't be any puzzle. When they come to, they got to say, well, it must have been Butkus that got me. It's <laughs> amazing. You don't make men like that anymore, I don't think. You just heard what I do. Oh, oh boy. God. Good here Lord. Go. They, Every time, like, and I've kind of, I've heard this example before, but it's like, when men complain about like little like small things, like oh god, I gotta lift that up. It's like they used to hunt. Do you know what I mean? Like men used to have to hunt mm-hmm. <laughs> so the whole family could eat. Not only hunt, but also gather. Yeah, and you'll be like, oh, the strap on my backpack, I gotta retie it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, gathering had to be really annoying. Oh my god, you gotta pick up that freaking deer. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, but also berries and stuff, like oh. the leaves and the you know that kind I of stuff. I can't imagine. I can barely, I can barely handle buying fruit from the grocery. Good lord. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is exactly what I mean. This is why there's no men like Dick Butkus anymore. <laughs> oh Absolutely, god. god. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. Morning, Kenzie on Q101. In case the producer joins us for the weekend Q101. Everything going on in and around Chicago you need to know about. And some of the stuff's free. So, hey, uh, let's have at it. We starting with the music case? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, you concerts. Don't mind. Yeah, yeah go for it. You take it. Bunch of good shows this week, and some of these shows are not sold out, so I would recommend getting a ticket tonight at the Metro. It is Kenny Hoopla. All right. He's one of the many Travis Barker descendants. Very, very good if you're in a Blink-182. Uh, he has their stamp of approval. Tomorrow night at the Chop Shop, there's a band called The Beaches. Are you guys hip to The Beaches yet? Uh, Yes. I've heard of them. What, are you? I just thought I'd say yes. Yeah, I don't know why you're lying. I don't want to lie. So, think about this band. This show sold out, unfortunately. But this band played Lollapalooza this year, and they played at, like, 1230 on Thursday. They were literally one of the first bands to play Lala this year. The week of Lollapalooza, they had a song come out that went super, super viral. The song is called Blame Brett. And ever since then, they have blown up. So, the Chop Shop, uh, that's Saturday night. That show is sold out. This will be the last time they play a building that small for a very long time. This band is on the rise. I would recommend checking them out. They are super, super fun. I think that's how I remember them in my head by Lollapalooza Thursday. I was there at noon, so I think I remember that. That's uh, because you weren't in the press area. You didn't fill out your press credentials, so you were with, uh, as you put them, the commoners. Yeah, you guys were eating sushi backstage. I, and I was not. I, I was uh, not eating sushi backstage. I was, I was out there with the peasants. I was actually, I had, a, I, I had to check myself because I had a big complaint about the lack of food options at the press area <laughs> this year. <laughs> it got a little light in the press area. It was a real bummer. When I eventually saw it, which was like the last day. Yeah, I took a photo of it for you. Yeah, it was great. I wasn't there, so yeah. that's why I'm not joining it. <laughs> Kenzie uh, put her heart into the first day there, which was good. Yeah. Yeah. Last day you weren't there. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, with the food. There's definitely not food when I was there. No, yeah. no, no, there was not. They only served dinner, not lunch. It was a huge, huge thing. <laughs> anyway, Sunday night, there's a bunch of great shows as well. The band Camino was at the Aragon. The Wonder Years, a, a great pop punk band, are at the Riv. Wu-Tang Clan and Nas are at the UC. Damn. But I will be at Subterranean Sunday night. Uh, there is a band that is near and dear to my heart. One of my favorite bands, a band that played their first show in Chicago two years ago. I was at that show. That was in front of 50 people. They are now back upstairs at Subterranean. The band Military Gun. One of my favorites. Uh, the only way I can sell them is... Hey, if you like the music we play on this station, you'll like this band. I can tell you that, uh, you know, me and Case live in the same neighborhood. He gives me rides home and introduces new music to me. He has introduced Military Gun to me. I love them. Yes. I love them. Spelled with an I-E, not a Y, right? Yes, Military spelled M-L-I-I-T-A-R-I-E. Good lord! It's on. It's on Q101.com. You can you can look it up there. But Google the band, will finish it for <laughs> you. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. But but the band is Military Gun. They are a terrific alt rock band. They sound like they would have been one of the biggest bands in the world in 1995, and yet they still sound fresh in 2023. They just put out their first full length record. I cannot recommend it enough. That show unfortunately is sold out. But if you're there, come say hello because that is a, that is another band who they're playing in front of you know what 300 people on on Sunday. The next time they're here, that crowd will double and then double and then double so i wish them all the success in the world i'll make That's an example the upstairs like up the tiny stair that yes. like almost alley shape so i love exactly. that place so yeah. I, don't, I don't know if people realize so sub t 
there's the upstairs, which is like right. that little alley. They also have shows downstairs. The first time I saw the band Beach Bunny, who we played about 20 minutes ago, I saw them downstairs. And if you've ever been there and you're going, wait, there's no stage downstairs. There's not. There's about a six-inch vertical lift yeah. where bands set up there. You can fit maybe 50 people into that bar. I saw Beach Bunny there for the first time. I saw this band Military Gun there for the first time. They'll be upstairs, though, on Sunday, so, so good for them. Since you're a big sub tea guy, there's it. a really good sushi spot right down the street. Is that right? Yes. I didn't walkable. know that. Okay. Yes. Well, I'm going to have a good Sunday night. Yeah, just so you know, <laughs> it's right there. Remember yes. the name of the place? Yeah. <laughs> I do not. It's the sushi place in Wicker Park. It's, I'll find it. It's yeah. literally like a two-minute walk <laughs> around the way too complicated intersection that is oh subterranean. Oh, my God. Oh, my what God. What is happening? I can't believe I don't get hit by a car every time I it's, go there. It's an <laughs> unbelievable intersection. So it's right on the other side of that death trap. Uh, great sushi. All right, there's all the shows going on in town, and some you can get to, some you can't. Yes, check out all those bands at Q101.com. So tomorrow, I will be up at the Golf Galaxy in Townline Commons from 11 a.m. to 1. <coughs> Excuse me. That's the new Vernon Hills location, grand opening. It's going to be a party for me, someone like me that golfs. I'm all into this. I'm loving this, and they've got something for you, special things. 100, first, uh, 100 adults in each morning of the grand opening have a shot at winning a free mystery gift card and a chance to be the lucky recipient of a $500 gift card. Ooh. Now, I'm going to be there again, 11 a.m. to 1. Next weekend, I'm going to USC Notre Dame football game, and I'm going to be golfing over there in uh, South Bend a couple times. So I'm going to get my grips redone while I'm there, too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Look at that. But uh, we'll have some Q101 stuff for you as well, tickets. So make sure that's the Golf Galaxy. Q101.com is the information, the address, and all that in Vernon Hills. Tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 1. Okay, so tonight. Oh. Ooh la la. Okay. All right. I am hosting uh, with my husband, Roman, the Art of Giving event. It's going to be at Artifact Events. Really dope venue if you haven't been to it in Chicago. Super unique, super beautiful, really cool layout. Um, And it is their Black Tie Gala. Now, this event raises money to supply arts of all kinds when it comes to, like, music, drawing, this art supplies, right? Think of that just that creative field as a whole to schools in Chicago where that's where their funding gets cut, right? That's where they don't get to expand and have different programs that really release that creativity and create amazing musicians and artists of all sorts. So this entire event goes towards uh, getting those supplies to schools locally, which is awesome. It's a great charity. Uh, Again, that is tonight. It's a black tie gal. Uh, it's the theme is street art, so they're going to be doing live art. Well, there's going to be artists that oh. are doing art. There's food, music, drinks. There's always tons of really really fun vendors, art that you can buy. So like a little bougie night, but I always love these because you're always going to spend money if you go out in Chicago, anyways. Yep. So it's really cool if you're going to spend your money and have good food and have good drinks and shop and dress up. At least now you're also helping people. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a two for one if yeah, you think. About change of pace yeah it's good stuff but i will be there tonight so if you're going come see your girl there's vip tickets and ga tickets both still available so what do you go, what do you go to a website or something like that yeah just go to artofgiving.org okay perfect Art of giving yep right on obviously we got you know there's a lot more stuff going on in the city there's a chicago beer fest at field museum you've got the chicago marathon all the information at q101.com for all the weekend q101 that case puts together a great blog on that so check it out if you're running in the chicago marathon this week please let us know because i'd like to know who hurt you? Why are you running? What are you running from? Right? I can't imagine. 47,000 people in the oh. Chicago Marathon on Sunday. And I almost agree with you. I mean, I get running. I understand what it's supposed to do. But running 26.2 miles. A, a mile is fine. That's plenty of exercise. I agree with you, though. And let's take another step. If you are running in it, use your phone as a GoPro kind of thing and just give us some of the footage. Because uh, I want to. Uh, it takes a long time. We're gonna yeah. watch all of that. No, no, not the whole race, but maybe like just the end. Well, they're not on a roller coaster. They're just running through the streets of Chicago. You know what that looks like? A drive through. Uh, yeah. I've, I've never run through the city. No, no you have not. <laughs> I don't plan on it anytime <laughs> either soon. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. A little bit. Yeah, she can do it. Oh, your mic's on there. Was it on the whole time? No, just, oh. at, the, just at the end there. Because I fake motor voted, so it's not good. <laughs> well, now you just got to tell me. Now you just got to do it on the air for everybody. <laughs> you got to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, normally when the red light goes on. Yeah. I know, but like Brian actually leaves the red light on all the time. That's true. Yeah, but I have the fader over here down. But that's, I'm assuming that you hadn't faded me up. <laughs> yeah. Do the motorboat one more time. <laughs> good. Oh, there you go. A little bonus treat. Uh, this is for the podcast. Make sure you check out if you missed anything this week. Uh, go to q1.com, 
Brian and Kenzie podcast. Case puts every hour up there individually, and it's all there to kind of recap. Plus, tomorrow morning, 8 to 10, throwbacks right here on Q101. Takeaways today. Kenzie, what do you got? Uh, Joe texted it and said, train is stealing from children. That's True. a takeaway from this week, and you need to be the podcast to understand how they're doing it. and how Drops they do- of theft. <laughs> <laughs> they need to be stopped. <laughs> also, 630 texted in, uh, takeaway, 28 years on the planet, and Kenzie just learned that HR means human resources. <laughs> and, uh, is it a- Listen, I was just—I just wasn't investigating the whole thing. Right. <laughs> All right. That's what you're called. Sounds good. I uh, miss a moment. Miss a lot. The podcast, as we said, is there for you. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101.